much. Ooh, is this a hyperbolic time? No, it's a casket. Yeah, it's Omari dead. I mean, Mari dead. I like how the flowers look like birds. Is that symbolism? I beg your finest pardon! My sister's a demon. I thought this was gonna be a beautiful thing. Nah, she just turned into Satan herself. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Omari. As you can tell from my McDonald's shirt and Akatsuki uh, bonnet, I am in the same place, which means I just finished beating Humphrey, which means my annoyance is still a little high because I hated that boss. If you haven't already, Go check out the last episode. Like, how are you here without watching the last episode? But let's continue on with this adventure. I hope I never see Humphrey again. I hope, I I, I hope he gets turned into dog food. Everybody leave a fuck Humphrey in the comments below. Thank God we're finally out of that water. I'm never going back in there. I'm gonna tell him. Don't you dare. To hell with the deep well, to hell with all this. Get me back to the surface. Not exactly what I meant the surface, but I'll take it. Oh my God, thank God we're back at the park, dude. I'm a double save right here just so I never have to go back down there. I'm gonna tell him. I also have 12,000 clams in my pocket. Like, don't say I'm not balling. Omari really got that cash flow like I'm Rick Ross. Big ball, shout out to all the bears. All the flowers are dead. Is that a, a an omen? Would you like to water the plants? Yeah. Because y'all might have forgotten, but I didn't forget. Yep. Drop this natural piss on them. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know why y'all looking at me like that. Water literally is like nature's piss. Y'all ever had like basil leaves? They're so kind of fire, bro. Actually, they're not kind of fire. They are. Like if you put basil on like your pasta... Uh, put it on your pizza good googly moogly that thing is juicy. I love it So is cilantro cilantro is such a, a fire seasoning uh, I didn't whoa Whoa, I didn't press this Welcome to blank space Am I only supposed to be looking for the letters that add something because I I've known what this is supposed to be for a while. I just kind of collected everywhere. Um, between two pinwheels. Amongst the other O's. Okay. Well, it can't be blank space because I got an in already. I got multiple ends. Is it welcome to black space? Whoa. Wait, wasn't that Babel's, Babel's? Can I talk hello English? That was the way to Basil's house. And now it won't let me go. It's over here trying to play a uh, freaking hangman. The symbolism, Basil is dead. Notice how we, wait, we've never seen Basil and Mari in this, uh, Never mind, we have at the beginning of the game. At the beginning of the game. What am I even talking about anymore? I'm just gonna, I'm trying to get my theories out there, dude. There's been a run button this entire time. Why did y'all never tell me this, dude? I'm over here just walking, randomly pressing buttons, and y'all ain't never tell me there's a run button. Pinwheel Forest. Uh, one of them's, one of them said they're between uh two pinwheels. Okay, so I'm a guess that is in Pinwheel Forest, right? That's what makes sense. Yeah, take your happiness to hell. Like, you think I care about either of you? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, right here, between two pinwheels. Now I just need the C. No. One key left. Yeah, I need an O. Welcome to Black Space. Amongst the other O's. Well, what's that supposed to mean, Wiz Khalifa? Like, do I go where the stoners be at? A 
boy stares at his kite in deep concentration. Do you want to disturb him? Yeah. Yo, have you seen that guy with a flower crown? I'm just a boy with his kite. We may not look like much, but we have an unbeatable bond. He's not real, it's a kite, it's a piece of paper. It's not something just anyone would understand. We'll show you how strong, when we work to what? Look at this. I'm over here fighting freaking number three from Codename Kids Next Door. Dude. Stare, nah, I wanna, I wanna hack away, dude. And Aubrey. Wind up throw, Kel, Ricochet. Everybody just attack. I'm. I want to beat y'all into the ground. That sounds really bad. We just, <laughs> we really just disturbed him for no reason. But he pissing me off. Like, bro, really over here thinking he better than us because he has a bat kite. Aubrey, I thought. I don't think the attack was throw bat, but I mean, I'll take it. Oh, I should have called the Aubrey. All right, close enough. No, this can't be. The wind is getting weaker. Kai can't, what? Bro just pulled out tape. Okay, then watch this. I'll, I'll take you out, then I'll take out your stupid kite. Over here, want to be Conqueror from Naruto so bad. Is this bullying? This feels a little bit like bullying. But me and my kite have an unbreakable bond. How could we lose? I kind of feel bad, but then again, he challenged us. So then again, I don't, because it's like, we were just trying to talk, you feel me? We're out trying to have a friendly discussion and you're over here talking about, I'm gonna wrap my kite string around you and choke you out, hang you over the edge. Like that's not okay. A thousand XP, he wasn't even that much of a challenge, but I'll take it. I knew it. We can't perform at our full potential without the perk. Okay. The wind feels weaker today. Maybe there's something wrong with one of the pinwheels. Oh, we jacked him for his kite. You ain't the only kite kid around here no more, dude. And we bodied you. We bodied you at flying kites too. Suck it. So, I just looked up where the O is, cause I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea. And it's in the one place I said I never wanted to go again back in the deep well so here we are going back into the damn water this game man this game man uh you're pretty sure this pool is haunted do you want to yep i see the blood trail now i don't think that was there before if it was then that's on me if not then it wasn't on me. And I was right. I should have never had to come back here. Like, honestly, I would have never guessed where the place of O's was. Because. Like, how am I supposed to know that? <laughs> Why would I think the O's are going to be underwater? Maybe if you said, oh, where the bubbles lie, then I would have got it. But the land of the O's is not a ghost well by the last resort. Get up this ladder. Give me this O. Welcome to the black space. I did it all by myself. Zero keys left. Welcome to black space. I did it. I collected all the keys. Are we in Narnia? Ooh, where the hell are we? That's Basil's house, that crusty, dusty shoe. Do we remember Basil now? Oh, what the fuck? What's going on in Basil's shoe? Y'all hear that? What sound is that? I gotta put my headphones back on. And what is this, dude? A ghost? 
Is this Basil? Is Basil the ghost thing that's been following us? I'm putting theories together. Please don't make me still be underwater. I hope I just transport it back. Of course I didn't. Got my hopes up too much. Oh, go in the hole, yeah. I love going in holes. Okay, not like this kind of hole though, like fall into your death kind of hole isn't fun. Where am I, dude? Stay away. You are not my son. I never said you were my dad. Why? Why won't you fall? Why? Why won't you fall? I'll leave that to you then, sir. Um, I guess I can't. Why won't you fall? Sir, are you, who are you my actual dad? I didn't get that. Could you try again? That genuinely scared me. Siri just activated. Bro, is that Basil? That is Basil. If Basil is dead, dude. Aubrey killed Basil and she's on the run. Wait, no. Amari's Amari's mom killed Basil and that's why she's on the run and never home. I'm the greatest detective alive. Pow, pow. Give me in a cop game, dude. I will show y'all I am the greatest detective ever. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face the sun. Basil, where the hell are you? I thought that was Aubrey talking. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Oh, talk about hard. That's a hard thing to do. It's so hard to be optimistic, dude. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. But now that she's not here, he's having trouble staying positive. And he was looking for Omari to fill in that gap. But Omari can't do that because Omari can barely help himself. Whoa. Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. Black roses are the best. Why? Because I'm in love with an emo girl. Sorry. Hero doesn't remind me... Hero doesn't remind me of any roses in particular. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. Still can't fight though. Not appropriate. We're getting all these deep messages. <laughs> I'm still on his fighting abilities, dude. These are the type of flowers called Gladius, also known as sword flowers. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest and strong moral values is that Keller Aubrey. Someone who stands in their conviction. I feel like it's Aubrey. Yeah, reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Yep. Cacti are very sturdy and re resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. Is uh, I'm I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Damn. Hello, ghosty. And these. These are white tulips. Tulips aren't very flashy plants. They're not too big or small. Not too elaborate or flamboyant. Is this Omari? If I could put it in any other way, I guess I would say that they're comfortable. Simple, modest, and perfect. Just like Sunny, aka Omari. And that's why he doesn't have any color to him. That's why he's in black and white. He's simple, not flamboyant, elegant, and everything bland in life. <laughs> it's like, nah. I see, I see, I see. I see. Damn, this is a long forest. My fingers are getting tired. All right, back at it. This game is so much easier to use with the D-pad. I don't know why I've been using the D-pad the entire time instead of the analog stick. 
Probably because my analog stick is melted. I showed y'all that last time. Look at all this blood. Are, are these like rose petals? And now y'all took away my run command. Okay, let's go into the shoe. Omari. I'm scared. Let's let's go back. No. Do y'all remember now? Step into the light and become visible or disappear. Are y'all seeing the ghost? Can I get like a heads up what y'all see? It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Yeah, because we're going after our friend. I hope Basil isn't dead, dude. Basil just, you know, he was just chilling, planting, taking pictures until Aubrey came around and started bullying him, her crew. I'm in the Black Sea. What is this? A tree stump? Nothing of importance. Through the spider webs. So is this... This game is going to be about Amari building up his confidence, right? Because he's always gaining the ability to calm himself down in these situations. And not be afraid of like spider webs, the water, ladders, and... Pretty much, ooh, is this a hyperbolic time? No, it's a casket. Yeah, it's Amari dead. I mean, Mari dead. I like how the flowers look like birds. Is that symbolism? I beg your finest pardon. My sister's a demon. I thought this was going to be a beautiful thing. Nah, she just turned into Satan herself. Mari, you, you, this is what I mean, dude. Mari's been portraying this whole, oh my God, I'm beautiful, I'm innocent, la la la. And now that we see her in a casket, she turns into a demon that tries to attack me. Mari is the ops, dude. I don't, like, yo, bro, that symbolism. Mari was not a good person, dude. That's what I'm getting at. How did she die? She wasn't a good person. She was probably sticking her nose in some business she didn't belong in because she was over here, I don't know, selling crack to puppies or something. Bro, Mari, I'm I'm squinting my eyes at you. Bombastic side eye. Like, what do you what's wrong with you? A black door casts a heavy shadow. What would you like to do? Open the door. Don't give me that do nothing option. There's nothing on the other side. Never mind, there is. Amari, I want to know what's going on in your head. Welcome to black space. I'm usually in white space. Oh, that's a bunch of keys. Okay, number of keys equals the amount of letters. Please don't have me find them in a wild goose chase. Okay, three doors. Never mind. That's a lot of doors. Oh, it's white. It's black. Sp oh my God! Don't tell me I have to. I have to find every damn key, don't I? I have to go through each one of these doors and find every key. What am I looking at? Is that Humphrey? I hope that's Humphrey. Oh, it's Basil. Where? Oh, I see you. These rooms are full of broken things. But at least in here, I can see who you really are. The world that you created above this one. Did you make it protect this place or to hide it away? Either way, it's become more powerful than you. Because Omari, a.k.a. Sonny, created this place to run away from his problems instead of facing them in the real world. You feel me? That's the moral of the story. Skip all this. Yep, I skip. 
Okay, got a key. Jump into this painting? Okay, I can't do that. Look at the little sperm hand again. They are still on my booty. This is gonna be a long day, ain't it? This is gonna be a long day. Oh, what is this room? The acid crack room? See what I'm talking about? Mari was selling crack. She sold it to her little brother. Yo, Basil. Lost in this confusion lies the root of everything. The truth that you locked away. You must find it no matter what. You have to for the both of us. Um, Sonny, you can't keep running for your problems. Eventually, you're going to have to face them. That's what he's saying. I'm not going to lie. Omo, I see what you're doing. But part of me is also like, is this really necessary to have to go through and find how many keys am I fucking W E L C O M E seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen twenty keys my nigga is like symbolism great but at the same time was it necessary <laughs> Was it necessary, dude? When you hide the truth, you sealed away. You sealed a part of me away with it. He's been waiting for someone to save him all this time. On that day, when you became nothing, I was split in half. Which one do you think was more painful. What the hell is that? A dinosaur? A T-Rex? Why is there a T-Rex in this room? Yep, yep, yep. You keep calling me a liar, dude. Like, don't mean nothing to me. Because you're not saying what I lied about. You're not even saying who you are. Basil. Mr. Sunflower Man. Liar, liar, liar. Sonny, I love you. Ugh, who, who is this? Is this Mari? Or is this Basil? It's one of the two. Sonny, I love you. Okay, I get it, but like, say something else. Like, who are you? Why are you black? <laughs> Why are you one of them? Yeah, so much for loving me. You left me alone in this weird black space, dude. Do you want to cut... What? Why would I want to do that? Who are you? Has been very bad. You got a key. Do I have to cut this cat open, dude? I literally don't even have a choice. Why do I have to cut a cat open? I don't like cats, but I... She tilts her head out of curiosity. Her eyes widen. She wants to go now. What is going on? She struggles to break free. Her eyes are filled with desperation. What is going on, dude? Sonny, what is... What did you do to this cat in the real world? Okay, now what? Like, I did that, but like, nothing's happening. Mr. Butler. There is always one, but... Oh, stab myself. Maybe I could have done that instead of killing the cat. So Omari and Meow both die. 
This game is pure confusion. How many keys do I have left, dude? I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. After playing this after the whale one, it's like, you know. Oh, I found Basil's flower crown. Give me. You got a flower crown. See, Basil, I'll always remember. What are these African drums in my ear? Yeah, these are like futuristic African drums. This is like some Kanye type stuff. Talking about, I made this album to connect with my African heritage. But I had to throw some 808s in there. Like, what are you, what? What are you talking about, Mr. West? I'm literally stuck, dude. I'm stuck. I can't go anywhere. Oh my god, dude. I, I'm literally pressing and I'm stuck. Omar, you came for me. Is that my flower crown? I'm so glad you found it. Alright, Basil, we found you. Let's get out of here. I'll follow your lead. Okay, we got Basil. Even though Basil is no use in a fight. Growing watermelons here has been fun, but I really miss my flowers back home. How are they doing? Did you take care? Do I have to crush all these watermelon? Why did basil just explode? Why is basil a watermelon? And what the hell is happening? Basil, our friends who have suffered because of us, can we still call them friends? Why did you explode? No matter how much I want, no matter how much I want it, things can't go back to the way they were before. But why does part of me still cling on? Is there still hope left for us, Sonny? Honestly, I don't know. I see the picture right here, though. Never mind, I don't see a picture. I'll grab this one, then. Never mind, I won't. I'm making marks in the sand. Trying to remember who are my friends. Maybe we could all plan out a trip to France. And be the niggas in Paris like we once were. We can go visit the Eiffel Tower. Me and Aubrey can get married, have a wedding shower. Look at this guy, he's dancing to my beat. He really feel it grooving in his feet. Cause it's groovy here on the beach. The beach of childhood, the beach of friendship. Grabbing these pictures reminds me of the days when we used to play and say hey to each other. But now we're strangers. Look at the shark. Bow wow. Shout out to Lil Bow Wow. Cause I feel him. I'm trying to be like Mike. But all I really can be is um, put up a fight and go against. Oh, I can jump in the water. I'm over here just Acapelling. Okay, never mind. I can't go in the water. What am I supposed to be doing? I need to find a key. But that's also like the key to happiness. Where it's just unobtainable. And you can't see it at times. But you keep looking specifically at the beach. Trying to feel the beat in your feet. And trying to beat your meat. But then you realize, after a while, you ain't got no more meat to beat. And you're just left empty. That was kind of hard. That was kind of a bar, dude. Like, bro, I might have to become a spoken word poet. Whatever it takes to get off this damn beach. Because I've been here for a hot minute, dude. I done dropped a whole album by the time I get off this beach. Look at this satellite. Like, DirecTV, why are you out here, dude? 
bro, I really need to shut up and start thinking sometimes. Because I quite literally just have to follow this path into the water. It's literally telling me where to go, and I'm over here running laps, freestyling about nothingness. Come on, kill me. I dare you, little sperm hand. Oh my god, did I finally do it? Thank god. Get me in this door, dude. I don't care if it's red. I just want to get out of here. Wow, I've put 20 hours into this game so far. This is a church. Oh, this is about to get dark, isn't it? We're about to see, like, a funeral. We're about to see Basil's funeral, aren't we? All these long stairs. Is ba Wait, are they saying Basil's Jesus? Basil is Omari's Jesus? And Omari's a pastor? Sonny, the truth is here. You've been running from this for so long. But this time, we can face it together. What is the truth? I can barely see what Basil's up there doing. Sonny. Why did it end up like this? Sonny. Um, I'm so sorry. Are you gonna cut him out, Sonny? Will you forgive me? My best friend? Do you wanna say Basil? <laughs> Imagine someone pick no. Yes, I wanna save him, dude. Save your homie. Jump in that giant, uh, gooey spider or whatever that I'm looking at. There's something out there. It's calling me. And it's calling you too. What? Death? Is that what they're trying to allude to? Death is calling? Let's go together. Uh, maybe not. Oh, what was that? What did he just shoot at? Basil, where are you going, dude? Stop going towards the darkness. And stop going towards weird colors. You like purple pastels. Don't move to the red. Ugh. Ugh, where am I? These are like Basil's um, uh, uh, claw marks on the ground because he was scratching. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. But it's pulling him into the darkness. Amari really has been stabbing himself a lot this game, don't you think? That's kind of crazy. Hey, Basil. Um, I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me, my best friend? Please, it hurts. Tell them to let go. Wait, what are you doing? Tell them to stop. Please, tell them to stop. Help me. Did Amari just stab Basil? I'm not doing that. I'm not, like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Mari isn't the op. Maybe Omari is the demon, dude. Because he done tamed the hand semen now. Ooh, what am I moving into? I thought that was a walnut. It's just some hands. Bro, Omari, Sonny, what you got going on, dude? What you got going on, dude? He really just killed Basil. Oh, it's actually Omari. In 3D form. Who sat there and hand rendered this? Why are you looking at me? Oh, why is he sitting like that? He's he's like the king of the underworld. Omari, oh, what is going on, dude? What the hell is going on, dude? Ooh, bitch. Ooh, bitch. Omar, you got some weird dreams, my nigga.
Who's missing? I can't see. Kel, Kel is here, so where's Hero? I don't want to hear him snore that much. Do you want to get back into bed? No, of course you don't. We're up and about. Oh, that's Hero playing the piano. I hear it. Where's the piano room again? I would go up to him and like smack him in the back of the head. Who do you think you are playing my piano and waking us all up, Hero, dude? You think you're the main character? You're not. The game is named after me. You're not Hero. Who? What? We got Phantom of the Opera over here. Where's Hero then? You know? Waltz were like my favorite. What? That's why I chose this song for our last recital. Oh, Waltz, the dance. Okay. Thought you were talking about like the pretzel company. But you always hated it, didn't you? How I'd lock myself away on the piano. All that practicing. Playing the same song over and over. When you first picked up your new violin, you were so eager to play with me. But kept keeping up with something isn't so easy. Maybe I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry. I just wanted it to be perfect. We never did get to play at the last recital. Did you want to play with me now? Ooh, you scared me there, Sonny. This is my house. Why are you walking around my house? You scared me. Sorry for bursting in like that. I could have sworn I heard some music. You must miss Mari a lot. It's been hard for me, too. I still think about her every day. I just... Don't understand why she chose to leave us the way she did. She killed herself. Oh, 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 oh. I thought she was like, had like, honestly, I thought she had cancer. That I thought that's where the game was going. But I knew her as a person wouldn't always want all of us to be happy. Wait, what? I read that sentence completely wrong, but I knew her as a person who would always want us to be happy, even if it was without her. You should really get some rest. Go upstairs. I'll join you in a bit. You're not my parent. Who are you to tell me to go upstairs in my own house, hero? I should slap you, dude. Don't you ever talk to me like that in my own house. And he did again. Fuck you. Can't stand Hero, dude. Thinking thinking he the main character. And look at Kel. Slumped. Are we going to get over the fact that you stabbed Basil in your dream, dude? Y'all took down the fort and everything? Damn. Good morning, Sonny. Rise and shine. I noticed the to-do list with the chores your mom gave you, so I finished them all. I take back what I said. You're a good guy, hero. Hope you don't mind. Also, I made you breakfast. I double take back what I said. You're pretty cool. Come down and get it while it's still warm. Kel's already on his second plate. You're doing all this controlling of me. You need to control your brother, because how is he on his second plate by the time I roll out of bed? What's on the answering machine? Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. Tomorrow's a big day. The movers will be there first thing in the morning. I gave them the key, so don't freak out if you see them. Remember to finish organizing your things today. I'll be picking you up in my car out front. Just come outside when you're ready. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzz. Yeah, let me so much you left me alone here for a week. After my sister uninstalled herself from the game of life and I have to deal with it on my own. Top of the morning, Sonny. You're not British. Shut up. You better <laughs> start eating before I finish it all. I already almost ate all the bacon, though. Hero, you need to start saving me a plate. Why do you keep giving him the bacon while I haven't gotten any? Oh boy, all for me? Thanks a bunch. No, it's not for you. Uh, who could that be? I'm going to get the door. 
They're really moving like this is their house. Is it Aubrey? Ew! What is all this? What the heck, Kel? Y'all don't want to squat up and move together? Y'all just left me? Ugh. It's Kim. Or, what's her name? Beatrice? What's going on over there? Dang it, Kel. Oh, no, it is Kim. Now I have bacon. Now I have eggs all over me. Well, I'm sorry, but... You're the last person I expect to see here. What are you doing here anyway? What happened to Aubrey? Oh, God. I was just about to get to that. I, it's just... It's Aubrey. She's not answering the door. Or her back door. Or the rocks we've been throwing at her window. She was real upset about yesterday. I know this is your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. Let's all go over there, Kel. You were a little, a little outrageous yesterday. If Aubrey's that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we're talking about. We've all known each other since we were kids. You weren't there when she pushed Basil into the lake. I told you, she's different now. That's also true, but you know, she's also, we're all dealing with a lot. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true that she's changed, but it doesn't change the fact that I still care about her. Even if she doesn't show it, I'm sure Aubrey still cares about me too. That's just the kind of person she is. See, in real life, right? In real life, I would probably be more like Kel, especially if I saw her push our homie into the lake. But in reality, if you look at it from an outside perspective, like I am right now playing the game, Hero is right. And like I said, all of them are going through, they're all going through it. They all lost Aubrey. Even if it was Omari, Sonny's sister, they were all close to Aubrey and they all lost Aubrey. I mean, Mari, they all lost Mari. So she's going through it too, but you know, you know, that's just sometimes you gotta step back. You feel me? And we gotta resolve conflict. But at the same time, if I was in the middle of this, I would definitely be like Kel. And I'd probably have some harsh words to say to her too. Today is our last chance to do this before Sunny leaves. There's that too. There's no way I can just let it in like this. We should at least try to talk to her. Well, me and Sunny can tag along, but you're gonna have to be the one doing the talking. I didn't even get to eat breakfast yet. She listens to you the most. Thanks, Kel. Hey, Kim. Thanks for asking us for help. She didn't. You're a good friend. Huh? Sure, whatever. Ugh. He got Kim blushing, dude. Why don't you head out first? We'll meet you there. Thank God he didn't offer her our food. See ya. I would have been pissed if everybody else got breakfast and I didn't. Let me get some, let me get some chow, you feel me? Because y'all all ate. And I'm flat. Can, well. Where's my plate, dude? Hero, where's my plate, dude? It's so hard being sunny because. Like, y'all want everything from me, but don't want to give me anything. Yo, Sonny, thanks for letting us sleep over last night and for spending your last few days with me. Look at this. She got the whole crew outside, dude. Hello? Is anyone there? Are we going to have to sneak into her house? Come to think of it, have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. Now, I thought this the first time I saw her house, and I don't know if I said it or not in the video. Look at the outside of Aubrey's house. <clears throat> when it looks like this, usually something is wrong. The, the roof is beat down, the trash is outside, there's cans outside, there's cracks on the house. I don't think I've ever seen a car here. Does Aubrey even have parents? She always came over to play with us. I don't remember her hanging, I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. And that would be why she's so aggressive, because she has to fend for herself. Aubrey, is anyone home? Hello? Oh, it looks like the door was open. Let's go inside. Y'all stay out here. 
What did I tell you? And oh, and this is her mom on the couch. Okay, never mind. She does have parents. I'll say this right now. Parents, if your house looks like this and you're over here sitting on the couch, shame on you. Literally, just get a trash bag and clean all this up. Like, if you have kids, you have to put your kids first. And kids should not be living in this, dude. The sink is filled with dishes. There's trash everywhere. There's alcohol everywhere. Like, shame. And there's just cigarettes on the floor. How'd y'all... Wait. Why do y'all have the same phone as me? Did y'all notice that? They got the same booth. They got the same home phone as me. Did we all go to Circuit City together? Y'all remember Circuit City back in the day? Is she living in the attic, dude? Yeah, this is this is this is bad. Why didn't no one come in the bathroom with me? Is she living in the attic? You can't even get to that door. No wonder she couldn't hear us. She's in the attic. And look who it is. This stupid bunny we've had to fight. Hey, Aubrey. How are you feeling? And she's hanging up Basil's pictures. What the heck are you guys doing here? Get the hell out of my room. We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine. She's not fine. I've been hearing some things, but I just want to hear it from you. Am I recording? This is getting good. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Look at the tears in her eyes. Nothing happened. You pushed Basil into the lake. Kel, calm down. This is not the time. You know he can't swim. I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned. I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one that keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, you're the one going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it is my business. You, you and Basil and everyone here were my best friends. All right, all right. I see the problem here. Some miscommunication. This is just your typical Kel and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. Nah, put on the gloves and let them box it out. You've done it so many times before. This might be a little too far past that. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mari. They're, they're all I have left of her. But you know it's still not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we had these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Sonny has them right here. What? <laughs> he, he does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. Unless you and Sonny. <laughs> you really dug through my trash for this thing. That's kind of gross. Okay, they're kind of making up now. Don't, don't start blushing, Kel. This is my girl. Aubrey, let's put Mari's photo back in the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one piece. Because they're our adventure, no one piece. Ugh, they have one piece. It is one piece. Hero took the photo album from you. Hero, stop taking stuff, dude. Come on, guys. We should do this together. Y'all want to invite Basil to this? This is literally like his stuff, dude. There. Now everything is back where it should be. It looks like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? We really did have a lot of fun together. 
Yeah, I guess we really did. I'm sorry, guys. Now, Kel, you apologize, too. I've been acting like such a jerk. Sis, don't think you're getting off easy. You were not acting like a jerk. You were acting like a bitch. You pushed Basil into the damn lake. Don't take it easy on yourself. I'm sorry, too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great, either. You know who's not sorry? Omari. He hasn't even talked. <laughs> all right. Apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Come on, hero. Not now. You're so embarrassing. I'm good, thanks. All we need to do, all we need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Kel, I'm sure you need to apologize to him. Oh, you do. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now let's get out of here and go to... What? Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever I meant to say. You know... Bro, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Look at this stupid rabbit, dude. Bun Bun. I hate Bun Bun. Hey, Polly. How's Basil doing? We were wondering if we could hang out with him today. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. Well, where is he? He's in the hospital. Don't tell me this is how it ends. What? What happened? He tried to end himself. My apologies. Let me clarify. You know what we're going through, dude. He just ran away. He got pushed in a lake and you're over here. He just visited to get grandma. I forgot to mention the whole story. Don't do that, Polly. Why are you even in their house if you ain't got no one to look after? Get out of here. She was rushed she was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh no. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon? Sorry. Would you mind if we check back here later? We're really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by and visit. It's not your house, so you really don't, like, have a choice. <laughs> I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah. Sure. She still feel resentment. We need to get to the bottom of Aubrey's problems. See you, Polly. Okay, see you. Hero, you have a car. Why don't we just drive to the hospital? Looking like that scene from Fresh Prince. Nothing. Gathered around a piss stain. Wow. I guess you really are moving, Sonny. When I see this empty when I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you. Moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid that past few years. And painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even though, but even through all that, I'm relieved that we are still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here so that we can face this together. It's okay, hero. I'll go first. Did Mari kill herself in the treehouse or on the treehouse? My mind goes to some dark places, but this is a dark game, and I'm trying to be a detective. Hey, Sonny, when you move away, do you think it'd be mu too much trouble if you could... Aubrey, Sonny, are you guys coming? We're talking. Never mind. It's nothing. Damn, it's bright outside. 
This is your entire backyard, Sonny. You got a big yard, dude. This is where Mari. Yeah, it is. It feels like forever ago, but I can still remember that day perfectly. That that day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day too. I went out to get a haircut with dad. Oh yeah, you were there with your dad too, Aubrey. You were preparing for something, weren't, aren't we, weren't we? Yeah, we were. The recital. Yep, we were going to watch Amari and Sunny's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening. Even after all this time, I still don't understand why she did it. I don't think any of us ever will. Am I recording? So this is getting sad. Hey guys, let's, let's keep going. And where's Amari's dad? Did they ever say that? Or did I forget? Yeah, Amari's backyard is huge, dude. Damn, this treehouse is big too. Look at how small they are compared to it. And y'all had a TV up here? Damn! Y'all had the whole spot. This is literally like the house in the dream realm. This is where he got that from. This place is seeing better days. But it looks like everything is right where we left it. The fact that the wood has not corroded away and y'all are able to stand up here as grown almost adults pretty much is insane. All our old stuff is still here. Hey look, here's our playing cards. I was the best at card games, wasn't I guys? That explains why he was able to win the slot games. Mr. Eggplant, or Plant Egg. Oh, you're so dirty. Look at all these old books. So this is where all my cookbooks went. Ugh, what? Damn, I just stepped in a jack. Oh man, such good times. Why do we have a toaster in here? Mm. Oh, here's the last picture. Here's the last picture. Don't forget it's in the toy box. You put the toy box key in your pocket. What? Hey, look, Sonny found a photo of us. We all look so happy. I keep thinking something's flashing. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? This must be it. Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, Sonny. We should add it. It's actually Basil's, but I just have possession of it. Right here. Basil's memories. And the photo album is finally complete. There. Now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time that we'll all be together in this treehouse. Now the photo album is complete. We should look through it one last time. Good idea, hero. The photo album is already out, so we might as well. Right, Sonny? Let's start from the beginning. Damn, from the beginning? Oh, Mari. I miss her so much. I... I miss her, too. Hey, come on, guys. Why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. Mari would be happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. If only Basil could be here too. Well, he's still alive at least. 
Hey, Aubrey, what's up? What's going on? Yep, grab the photo book and let's get going. Where's the toy box, though? Uh, where did y'all... Where did y'all go? You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now I realize that I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Sonny and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports. And Hero always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me. And abandoned Mari too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own ways. Facts. And that's what people don't understand sometimes. Just because you cope a certain way doesn't mean everyone copes that way. We have to be kind to each other. After Sonny stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first. But after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And we, when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album all on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all of the photographs with markers. I couldn't believe it. He had even blacked out Mari's face. All of our memories together. It felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry. I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him a creep and things like that. And eventually... I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet I'm the one who was angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Amari, why are you doing the moonwalk, dude? Everybody, he's going to comfort Omari said. Like, dude, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse. So I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Sonny. It was, I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kel. But I'm the oldest, so I should have known to take care of everyone. But you were still a kid, too, dude. Like, we were all kids. Like, yeah, you were older, but, like, you know, you're still a kid, too. I, I just, no, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't, I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time... It's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at these photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any black marks you were talking about. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they just cleaned themselves, did they? It's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be here for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is a perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug! Oh yeah, count me in. Wait, just one second. Ready or not, here we come. Is he pushing me? 
adorable. That's the thumbnail, maybe. I just know Kel's smell, dude. He looked like he smelled like Funyuns. We should go see if Basil's back home later today. I need to apologize to him, and I think right now, he's probably the one that needs us the most. I still have to find the toy box. Like, dude, I am on a mission right now to find that damn toy box. Watch, watch me not find it till after. I feel like that's what they're gonna probably do. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Well, Basil is back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh no. Is there anything we could do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him. Did his grandma die? Maybe he just needs some time alone. But, I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try to talk to him? Of course. We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. I'm ready now. It's not like I need heals for a battle, right? Right? Hey, Basil, it's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Sunny. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? So, maybe he just needs some time to himself. If one of you don't kick this door down, I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should always be there for each other. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. I, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want you to know. We just want to know that you're okay. I think you should stay here for him. Yeah. Last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other. When we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly. Do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you all are so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome! I call the couch. Okay. Oh, this is happening so fast. Okay then, since Kel wants the couch, everyone can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. Kel... You're not getting the couch. We're all sleeping up here. Hmm. Why do you get the couch? Well, duh. It's because I called it first. Damn. Ow, that hurt. Amar, you want to say something now? friends let's watch some uh, freaking plant planet or something oh Polly got the good eats for us hey Sonny I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting but I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow we'll always be friends Ugh, that's so cheesy hero hey I'm just saying what I'm thinking hero's always been a big softy just like you, Aubrey. What did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's the softy now. Hmm. But yeah, it's true. 
I know we'll always be there for each other. Just like I know that Mar is still here with us, too. Her baskets are everywhere, quite literally. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sonny. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Ugh, I'm getting sleepy. And he's out. Yep, he's gone. What the? Is he asleep already? Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Yep, that's Cal for you. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Sonny. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you for doing this for us. And hey, tomorrow's a big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to that new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Sonny. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park or the beach or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. Hmm. That sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? No. They're dickheads. Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. Come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. How did Kel call the couch, but Aubrey still got it? <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you in the morning. Look at this dude. We still have to find out what she has to say to us. And we still have to find the toy box. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Will you forgive me? I don't like the sound of that. My best friend. Please. Are you getting like a telepathic signal? Through them antennas on your head? Where am I? I'm in blank space. I'm moving in a world of nothing. Ooh. Sonny and Omari meet? This is about to be the most dry conversation of all time. Exactly my point. Do you want to destroy it? That's different. Whoa. Ooh, Amar, what you, or Sonny, what you about to do? Now what? Amari finna be pissed that you didn't destroy his inner layer, Sonny. Sunny do. Uh, attack. Something drags Sunny into the shadows. He's beating my ass. Yep, calm down. Ooh. 
Is this going to be another one of those just calm down fights? Ugh, something taunt Sunny. What will Sunny do? Calm down. Calm your nerves, Sunny. You can handle this. Yep. Okay, I'm not gonna stand here and just get beat, dude. Oh, did I do it? Ugh, it's in my ears. Calm down and then focus. Get back to neutral, yep. This is nothing to you. This is nothing to you. Sonny's speed fell, he wasn't that fast to begin with. Focus. Yep, this is nothing to you. Alright, Sonny, calm down. Calm down, you're getting scared again. You just need to calm yourself down, breathe, and focus. And then eventually we'll attack. Actually, we can't, because Kel still took our knife. Persist, okay? Persist. Push through, Sonny. This is symbolism for how you need to move past these dark days and these dark thoughts. God, get that face, dude. Calm down and then focus. That looks like something in the horizon, but I can't see. Shout out Horizon Zero Dawn. Great game. Fight and focus. It's a person. I can't see who it is, though. It's... Ugh. You feel like your life is in danger? Is that Mari, dude? That's literally a body, dude. Ooh. Your lungs tighten up. Persist. Your heart beats out of your chest. Your fingers won't stop trembling. We are getting dogged right now. You hear your breathing begin to steady. Okay, calm down. We're in the zone. Auto zone. You hear your heart beating to steady, yep. You gather all your courage and learn to overcome, yep. Okay, let's see it. Overcome, yes sir. Overcome the obstacles, Sonny Omari. Ooh, he opened his eyes for once. Actually, his eyes have been open, but they haven't been that wide. You got a light bulb. Damn, they just love flashbanging me. Sonny's in Omari world. Okay, a tree. Are we at the gates of heaven, dude? What's going on? Okay, another tree. This has been two hours, but I've been enjoying this, dude. Sonny, you're finally here. I've always dreamed that you would come back for me, but maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please forgive me. You got Basil's photo album. Like 
save. Yeah. And I'm gonna end it right there. I'm gonna end it right there. I think last episode should be the final episode. If I cut this down enough, then ignore this because I'll probably just throw them into one part. But if this is the, you know, I appreciate every last one of you for watching. The series is coming to a close and it's it's picking up, you feel me? The ending is, the ending is riveting. But hey man, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. If you're into movie reactions, check out the movie reaction channel. I'll leave it linked below. And I appreciate every last one of you for watching. I'll see you in the finale of Omari. Take us out.